boys and girls we're out we're in the car and we're on our way into Southport we're going to do a beach dig instead of a uh, land land a bit different sunny Southport uh, Paul's not been not, Paul's not done a beach uh, this time before so well we had that towing effect but we never yeah, put anything in did we no. So yeah, we're going to see what we can find here, and hopefully find some nice things. Let's have a look at the bit of a Southport scenery. Uh, we've got a bit of scenery showing. Sunny Southport. Now it's an arm and a leg for paying for car parking. Uh, yep. But we think we've got it sussed. So yeah guys, Sunny Southport. <laughs> Something different. Yeah, something different, isn't it? Uh, we've only got shovels, we've not got scoops, but no. needs must as the devil's drive say. You know what I mean guys? Uh, detectable just around the corner. Looking oh yeah, forward to spring it. detectable. I'm looking forward to that. So. Cannot wait. Right guys, we'll catch you on the first hole. The sandy hole. See you in a bit guys. Later. Well, boys and girls, mm, a bit of a, a problem. Well, it's not a bit of a problem. It's, it's a, a big, big problem. problem. The bloody tides in. I thought I'd check tides right and I'm not. Yeah, the tides in. We can't oh. do pop. We can't really do anything on the beach. So, what a wasted fucking journey. Yep, what a wasted journey it is. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, we'll get back to you when we figure something out. Catch you in a bit. Well, boys and girls, we're off to see Dave on the de de detectives. Uh, Apparently, that was on one of his lands. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to meet him now. Yeah, Dave from Detectives has been good enough to uh, invite us down to what was going to be a beach video, but unfortunately at the moment now, we're heading towards one of his permissions that is kindly uh, letting us go on while we're out of the way at the moment. We were stuck. But before we go any further, guys, uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Jim. Uh, all this editing he does with all these videos, I don't do absolutely nothing when it comes to the recording, the editing and all the... <coughs> to me, it's well over my head. So yeah, Jim's massive part of what we do. We've been knackered about him. And like I said, I either came along for the ride for the first couple of ratings. I was even shy. But as to what we've done and what we've accomplished, if it weren't for Jim... So yeah, big thumbs up, guys, to Jim. Uh, and as I said, for David Detectives, I bumped into him a couple of month ago on the channel subscribed and uh, bloody hell we've got a like a house on fire so yeah guys look out for detectives now nice. Dave and uh, what's his mate's name I think it's Tom so yeah look out for them detectives yeah, I'll leave, good a link to their channel in the uh, description below so yeah massive shout out to uh, detectives and like I said big thanks to Jim for all this what he does with computer uh, got to give him some recognition. <laughs> he keeps thinking he's boss, but he's not his only cameraman. <laughs> I'm boss. I'm boss. Believe me, I'm boss. <laughs> <laughs> I do all the research. I do all the. Uh, like I said I do. I'm mostly edited. I'm just his co-host. <laughs> yeah, Paul's a comedian. If you're not figured it out already. So yeah, it's uh, a bit windy, guys. Yeah, just just a bit windy, so. But we're, we're not far off. We're not far off there now, so we'll catch you in a little bit. Bye for now. See you later. Well, boys and girls, the eagle has landed. Uh, we're on a little bit of a permission. I can't show you much. But we've got a special guest. And it's a lad who saved our life today. This is Dave of The Detective. How you doing, guys? And it's Detective. Don't forget, Detective. <laughs> guys and dolls. But yeah, that's the man. Dave, saviour of the day, Jim, computer whiz, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to show you down below, we're on grass, 
a bit of a feel and Dave recommends that we start at the beginning and work the way to the end so anyway guys as from me unfortunately Dave can't stop today but Dave many 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 thanks no problem uh, we, don't worry we'll we'll share our way you know what I mean so anyway guys from me Dave the man of the hour and James on to the next <laughs> well guys uh, Dave as he says just left us I think he's left us a surprise <laughs> first signal <laughs> How <laughs> <laughs> oh, ironic, first signal, and it's the first defence. Hey, I'm telling you what, it hasn't been done. No. <laughs> well, that? guys. Spendable. First bloody target as well. At least it's not a booby prize. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. On to the next. Well, guys. I've only gone from there to there and have another little find. Look at it, check it out. I'm not going to shop for the at first, but it's a bit big. So, yeah, I'm assuming it's uh, some sort of wheel off a toy car, toy train. So, yeah, bonus, on to the next. Right, boys and girls, sorry for the wind, this is an, uh, first target and it's a button. I do apologise about the wind. Well, yeah, that's my first target. Alright, guys, catch you on the next one. Well, boys and girls, uh, Paul's here. It's I'm just changing me back to you because the jet has gone dead. It's in the ground. Uh, I'm not sure why. Oh, it's got a target there. We are. Look at that. Oh, you fragged me to death, then, lad. <laughs> How are you doing? Not, not so bad, bad, not so bad. Paul's done it okay? Uh, well, uh, first round thing. He's a probably first round one. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I just want to, I, uh, I don't live far from here. Have right. you got a minute? I've just got on a second opinion off here about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know whether that's a granite cannonball or not. That's definitely a cannonball. Yeah, that's definitely a cannonball. That. Well, well guys, the first for me and James, somebody's just come over to us. As I said, Dave has left us. Uh, and he reckons, if there's any animal, I know there's a lot of experts out there, can they tell me if this is a can of granite cannonball? Uh, loose, round as it can be, a little bit flat on the bottom there, could have hit somewhat, but yeah, and it's a yeah. good three, four pound weight, five pounds, Jesus, yeah. isn't it? Hell, look at that. I've looked on the internet a wee bit and seen a few down it resembles one, you know, and yeah, it looks when I've like looked it. on the uh, I've asked a few people. Well they reckon in, in and correct me if I'm wrong, they reckon in uh Mother Nature, yeah, anything round round or angles, yeah. it doesn't make them but yeah. I mean it does look pretty right, doesn't it? Where do you find that? You don't mind. Just hit a load of rubble in my garden where the guys clean the clean right. the garden. And when I've asked someone locally, he said Cromwell was round here smashing yeah, the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the bitch with these things, so... Hey, mate, yeah, I reckon it's it. Cheers, lads. Coming. I'll have to go down the museum and all a few people yeah. there and get it, like, registered. Yeah, get it registered, you know. yeah. Jamie didn't know where it was in the ground. That would have been the interest. Yeah. You know, computer. Yeah. If you go to YouTube... Yeah. Have you got a key ring on No, it's in the car. I'm not bright enough. Uh, hang on, I've got keys. I'll give you a key ring. And, uh like I said, the lad who runs this property is a, a YouTube lad called Jenkins, Dave. Right. Uh, yeah, he's telling yeah, me yeah, yeah. Was it, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice man. Hey, good luck lads anyway, so if you've found anything uh, of note, uh, just look them up, put your photos on, uh, just take photos yeah. and send it to us. It doesn't cost nothing and you'll see no replies and somebody will tell you but to me Luke spit an image good, of one yeah, it, it I've looked on the internet and there is a few that resemble them there's some that have actually lost chunks so you know take a measurement because it I have be a done, certain poundage I have done yeah and a 14 centimetre diameter one is roughly what we're after which is this well, it, could be, it could be actually it could be one yeah well listen hey, I'll get out I'll get hey, what's your name now. fella Steve and Steve Paul and Jim Paul and Jim yeah, so and check James. us out will do subscribe and you'll get all the information you need because we've got all Loads of experts, yeah. Yeah, some will know, know what's, what it is and let yeah, you know. That's kind of you, lad. I ain't no worries, lad. Any time. You guys, good All luck. Right. Ta -da, All right, buddy. Anyway, well, what, what about that, guys? Eh? We found something right there. Somebody comes over with a would be cannonball. So, 
Have you got your yeah. pole? It's uh It's something. It's looking a bit weird. Feel way to that. Oh. And if you look. It might be. I've got a bit I'm not yet. promising yet. Have you got a toothbrush? I haven't. And I've no spit and polish. And that's a button. Hello. There you go, <laughs> shank. Well, guys, hey, it may not be the golden doubloon, but it's a golden button, and I'm happy with that. Yeah, it looks like it was gilded once, yeah, but when I saw cool. that there, then I thought that was an hammered yeah, that. Yeah. Well, guys, as he says, butt on, or Lucas, on to the next. Off the right, boys and girls. Paul's done it again. He's got a toy. It He's came from here. Came from down there. And it's the. Oh. Well, it was there. Yep. Yeah, it's still there. Yep. Right, I'm just going to check that with detector. Give us a minute. Solid 77, 78. 77, 78 on the air. Uh, got it 80 max. And it's got the nailed coil. So well, that. guys. Oh, you lucky buzzer. And with no spit and polish. Look at that, guys. Still in the hole. Need to take a picture of that. Now, Paul. It's the silver. It's the shimmy, it's the shimmy, it's the shimmy, shimmy shuffle. It's the silver shuffle. Oh, no done, way, mate. guys. Oh, well done. Let's just. Uh, it's very thin, James. It's very thin, isn't it? Oh, what is it? I don't know. Hello. I'm not cleaning you. Guys, give us five minutes, we'll get back to you. Right, guys. There Let's have a see what this shiny looking thing is. It's a bullhead. Well, you know what it means with silver, guys. It's like the first Crayola out of the box. <laughs> it's a bullet, guys. You can just make him out. George the Third, isn't it? A bullet. Well, yeah. And I think I can't see a date on it. I think it's a florin. I'm not sure. Or it. It's got a shield on. We check it when we get home, and I put a picture of it when. Yeah. We're at home. Well done, mate. Silver in the pot, guys. Well done. Right, I'm going to take a picture, James. Yeah. Send it right. to Dave. Helicopter flying over. So yeah, we've been having a flyby. Having a flyby. We'll just wave to him. It's a. Oh, it's an air ambulance. Good day to you, sir. Well done, mate. Catch you on the next hole, guys. Well then, boys and girls, we're back. Uh, let me know what you think this is. It come from a good way down. If you can just read that number. Let me just see if we can give it a clean up. On the old, as Cleggy says, magic trousers. OP705 I'm assuming it's something off a tractor But we bring you everything from the trash to the treasure guys On to the next Possibly, possibly good, possibly In a bit Girls, uh, got me, Finally got a decent target and It's an old fuck Yeah just no fault guys so 
Paul's down there, he's doing quite well, Paul. From that uh, coin, uh, colour buttons and stuff. Yeah, just a, a fork. Uh, yeah, that's it. Right, catch on next one. Right, boys and girls. Finally, I get a coin. If you can see it. Can you see it? There we go. I'm hoping it's a coin. Nope. It's not a coin, it's some type of token. Hmm. Well, I'm not too sure what that is. It's a euro coin. Not got a clue what a euro coin is? But it's some kind of token. Oh well, still fine. Right, catch you on the next one. Well guys, we're back. Uh, it's come out from down there. And it's this. And I think it's a button. Give it a rub. Yep, as Clegg is it, it's a four ola. Four ola. On to the next. Well, oh guys, I've literally just come from that all there with a button. I've hopped over the edge and literally inch deep. And I think. It's a coin weight, trader's weight, something like that. I'll tell you what, the Nell coil, I've only gone from there to here. Jim's right down there, you just see him walking up. So yeah, I think it is. Trading weight. Might be a coin weight, I suppose, or but it's definitely some sort of weight. And literally on the surface. Just there. Oh my god, what a day I'm having. Jim's just about to come and uh, verify it for me. As I said, James has got a bit more idea than me. Oh. There James. Yeah. I got my button there, yeah. and I got my last signature over there, and it was there. Oh, that's definitely a weight. Definitely a weight, yeah, isn't it? It's trade weight, that. Cool. Yeah, definitely a trade weight. Have you found anything? Oh, no. No, then. No. I'll tell you what, the Nell no. coil pays off. Oh, I I've only know. gone from there to there. I have done a few little bits of uh, pieces of iron and that, and a couple of pieces of lead. You know what that means though, Dave? You, if you can't get some of it off here, there's something wrong. Yeah, I'm doing something wrong. Well, anyway, guys, from me and James. Catch you on the next hole. On the next. Well, guys, Jim's finally on the board. What have you got for us, James? Finally got coin. Just right there. Ooh, you nearly fell then. Yeah, just right there. First coin of guys. the day. Well, it's blank on that side. Shall I give it a rub on the magic pants? And that's a Lizzie, I think. No, it's George. Let's have a look. There you go. Give it a rub on the old. We now go with. Yep, it's a George. And it's a bit crusty yeah. on that side. On to the next. Well done, James. Next one, guys. Coin in the pot. Right, out. All right boys and girls, uh, we've got a target. Dug it out and yeah, it's on a little tiny musket ball. Nothing much, nothing really. 
spectacularly off, as you say. Yeah, just a tiny musket ball. Alright, catch you on the next. Well, boys and girls. Oh, I'm definitely wrong. Paul's got a target. And he pulled it out. It is a coin. Where he sees us, can he ID it? I think it's a 20 pence. A 20 pence. Yeah. 20p. Yeah, 20p. God, that's bastard, that, isn't That's it? been there a while, hasn't it? It has. It is. Which is definitely a 20p. Yeah, definitely a 20 pence piece. Jeez, that's <laughs> been hammered. That's seen been there a while. Jeez. I never seen a 20p that fucking no. that hammered. Cool. Bend the ball. Right, boys and girls, got a target. I pulled it out. Um, it's this. I think it might be. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, you can clean it up. I'm not too sure. Let me give it a clue, you guys. Right, boys and girls, I've still not got a clue what it is. Uh, I haven't got a clue. Um, if anyone knows, please leave a comment below because I'm absolutely stumped on what that is. Right, guys, catch you on the next one. Well guys, it's been a while and uh, suffered a major malfunction. Uh, thought I would get a signal. <laughs> me screw thing to me coil unplugged. Anyway, back to the hole. And I think we've got a button, guys. Shank's broke. But, you have the rub on the old trousers. Yep. I don't think there's anything on it. On to the next. Well, guys, the man in action again. Uh, I think he shouted something, and uh, it must be important. And it's a coin, is it? It is a coin, but it's not silver, that is it? No. It's what we call in the business toasted. Been on the grill too long. Yeah. Hey. Been in the toaster too it long. It is. It's a coin. Yeah, exactly. On to the next bull. Well, boys and girls, we've got no target, and that's it. Pack of a spoon within the bowl there. Oh, yeah, bit of a spoon. Right, catch on the next one. Right, boys and girls, on the time, pretty close on the surface. I think we might have another point. Uh, let me just give it a wipe. I think that might be that might be a pound coin. Uh, not just give me a minute, guys. Give it a proper clean up. Right, guys. It is a coin, but I can't really tell what it is. But I really do think it might be a pound coin. Just on the thickness. But, at the end of the day, it's a coin, and we'll catch you on the next hole. Right, so. Girls, I've got a target here, I dug it out, and this is it. 
I'll give it to Paul, he can clean it if he would. That's a big coin. Let me just take my gloves off. It's a token. A token? I like tokens. Cool. Top fan, man. Alright, guys. I've got a good signal over there. On to the next! I'll get a. Uh, I'll look up and see what it is when I get home. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Girls, uh, we're all finished now. Show you what we've got. Uh, so you do my finds first, then it's done and over with. I didn't get there. A lot of uh, scrap there, yep. Absolutely rolled. No idea. No idea, that is. Bit of a spoon. A fork. Not got a clue what this is. Well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, one, two, three proper coins, a button, a uh, token there, and that's another token. Uh, that's the best find I think today for me, uh, which is that token. Uh, I will put a picture up here somewhere. So, yep, yeah, and I found a musket ball. Right, whoops. Holes, uh, three bits of rubbish. Uh, a bit of a car wheel. This very first find, which was a bloody 50 feet. A couple more pieces of lead. Um, marble thing in me, Bob. Uh, one, two, three. We got three coins there. Uh, that's a penny, I think that might be half. Oh no, that's a button. I apologise. A 20 pence piece. That's another button. For Paul. Uh, some kind of knob. That trade weight. Pretty cool find. Uh, not got a clue what that is. And false star find for today. Uh, I think the best find for today. For Paul, it is bullhead uh, silver coin. Uh, I'm not too sure what the date is. Uh, not too sure what the coin is, to be honest. Uh, but I'll get Paul to clean it up, send me a picture, so you can get a date on it. And I'll let you know what it is. Right, guys, I want to give it a big, big shout out. To Dave, uh, detectives, uh, thank you for letting us come on uh, this land. It's been a cracking day today. Uh, uh, yeah, he's absolutely brilliant. So I put a link to detectives in the description below. Go over, subscribe to him, say hello from, say hello to him, and yeah, he's got uh, some cracking videos coming up soon, hasn't he, lad? Yeah, I've got uh, a winner part of the detectives team. Yeah, uh, he's got some cracking videos coming out. Yeah, uh, well, shocking, unbelievable. That's all I can say. Yeah, it lacks the. Uh, if it weren't for James doing all this videoing for us and all this editing and stuff like that, I'd never even known any guys like who I've met down the line, like all my subscribers, you know what I mean, brilliant people. Uh, but yeah, for Jim, the original Detector Jim, uh, you've way. proved yourself, haven't you? Oh, he, I'll he's definitely proved yourself, especially when it comes to this video. Yeah, again. we've come a long way to where we started from. And friends? Um, yeah, we've got some amazing friends now. I mean, I'm just checking kettle now, so I'll yeah. leave you
Jim Grant, but like I said, thanks for supporting us. Yeah. Dave, massive shout out. Uh, but yeah, detectives and uh, uh, the honorary club have detected you and Paul as well. So, right guys, we're off. Go and have a brew and we'll catch you on the next, on the next one. Bye for now.